Port Adelaide, in very difficult conditions, overcame a determined Western Bulldog side in Ballarat. Matthew Nix from The Power. He joins us now. Nixie, welcome to the show. Thanks, guys. Manny. Hey, can we start with the conditions? Because we were watching on TV, and obviously it looked a bit wet and windy and pretty cold. <laughs> Just give us uh, your point of view from someone who was there and lived through it. I was one of the lucky ones. I, I sit in the coach's box, so it, it was fresh. Uh, I, I think at one point it was um, you know, sitting down single figure uh, Celsius, but then it felt like it was minus degrees, and that's what it was coming up on the boys' app. So, um, no, the guys. Look, I, I think it was a, it was a, quite a good game considering yeah. you know, the conditions. It was, it was windy, freezing cold. We had rain throughout. Um, I thought the um, I thought the skills and some of the hands, considering the conditions, were. were quite good. So, so I guess as a coach you, you rock up to the ground and there was hail early on before the game started. Yeah. Danger signs straight away when you're playing a team that's ranked below you and you need to win it and all that sort of stuff. I think the players handled that really well in terms of the attitude they took into the match. Yeah they did. We we couldn't be more happy with the way they went about. And we, we were expecting I think even a week out we were looking at the forecast of what the weather was going to be so um, to be able to anticipate that, and we expect the worst. You know, they were talking about severe storms coming through, and we knew that it was going to be one of those games that territory would be important, and you know, we have to get in and, and enjoy the contest. And I thought, you know, right across the board, I thought our whole group um, put their head over the ball, enjoyed, you know, the challenge of trying to win hard balls, and, and the Bulldogs are they're a good side in that area as well. They like to outnumber, um, they go hard at the footy, so. For us to come out in the end with the result we got, you know, we couldn't be more pleased. I thought you set the team up really well from selection and through to back in. You know, Burn Jones's role, the midfield mix, the front six, you know, the back six with their matchups, and, and it does help when everyone plays their role, Matty, in weather like that. Yeah, you're right. I, you like to you like to think you make good moves as coaches, um, but it does come down to the players. They, they're the ones who, um, you know, you can swing as many moves as you like. I thought, you know, Darcy. Um, we, we thought Johannesson was really dangerous yep. to them and, and was a critical player to them coming out of their back back half. So you know, we put some time in there. But it, it takes Darcy to be able to do that job. It's not an mm. easy job. And, and he's um, he's been really strong for us the last couple of weeks. But we, we thought, you know, as I said before, Kane Farrell came in and played his first game. You know, we couldn't ask more for a first game. He, he put his head over the ball and a young kid, uh, he's only a light body. Um, yeah, he stood up for us. So it was, it was every player and... and, mm. and no surprise you get the result. Yeah, great goal he did too. Let's talk about Charlie. Nearly froze, he reckons. Got a runny <laughs> nose, lucky he's got the big beard. He bagged five. I thought the conditions suited him. He was a colossus. Well, they did. I mean, the conditions helped helped him. I mean, it was windy, it was blustery. He, he's had some issues judging the ball, um, working on his marking. I thought the, the work he's been doing over the last couple of months, and this isn't something he's been working on for a week or two weeks, this is an area that he's been all over for, for you know, two or three months just trying to get himself uh, in the contest uh, at the right spot, drop of the ball. And I thought on the weekend um, he was best on ground. I thought he changed the game. You know, he, he marked the ball when we needed him to. He converted as well, mm. you know, in trying conditions. He was kicking goals when we needed him to. So he, he was a standout for us. And we hope that, you know, that gives him some confidence and, and starts what, what is a really important month for us. Yep, seven goals to one in the second half uh, displayed your dominance in the game. Brad Ebert was another one. I thought he had his best game in a little while, so that's another positive to come out of it. Yeah, very much. Yeah, and Brad got a, a little bit more time in around the footy this this week, so he's shown what he can do as as a big bodied mid. Um, you know, played a little bit of wing as well. Um, but it's nice to have some guys finding a bit of form because we, you know, all the talk over the last, um, I guess, the last couple of weeks has been about you know we, we've dropped away, we, we're not in good form, but. You just need a couple just to pick their games up, you know, take it to the next level. All of a sudden, things start to click. And by, by no means, it wasn't a, a clinical um, performance, but it was it was solid. Um, and we had some really key guys stand up. Mm. And clearly, you, you, this was a, a big game for the club with all the stuff that's on the end of it. You picked Tom Jonas and Paddy Ryder and a few people, mm. including myself. We raised an eyebrow and thought, wow, you know, that, is that a risk at all? Those guys got through no problems? Yeah, they did. They, they got through. I mean, it was... <laughs> There's always risk involved, mm. um, but you're back in your high performance guys. I think the credit to them, they you know they basically made the decision this week, along with the players. The players are, are very much you know they're our senior guys. They're, when it comes down to it, a Tom Jonas and a Paddy Ryan, they're the ones who make that decision with the backing from from our from our professionals, the doctors and physios. And I thought that, that were two really good calls. Um, yeah, you know, this game, as you said, was really important. So we wanted to get 
those guys back in. They influenced games for us, um, and we got the result we needed. They pulled up well. Um, it's only early in the week, but we got a short break now, and hopefully they can sort of turn around and, and be okay for now. Another big game this week. So, Paddy, you were just resting him in that last quarter on the David Dench. Yeah, that was, that was very much management. I mean, the conditions were testing, as, as you knew, and the game was. I mean, it, the game wasn't over, but we felt confident that our group, you know, without Paddy out there, I think it was best for him that. Um, you know, with with the where his body's at at this point in time, it was probably going to be a bonus if you could spend a, you know fifteen yeah. or twenty minutes on the bench at the end. What did um, Don? Uh, not Don. What did um, Ken say to Ollie and um, Riley Bonner at three quarter time? <laughs> she was pretty animated. Yeah, I, I got asked that one actually earlier today. I, um, it's an interesting one because I my comments were look, Ollie's um, a leader in our midfield, so and he's a leader of our team, but. Probably the, the second half of that third quarter, we, we dropped off a little bit around stoppage. And, I, you know, McRae and a few others started getting on top. And we spent a lot of time in our back half in that third quarter. So we were under pressure. And, and it and it started from our mids. We we felt they just dropped off. We've had a 10-minute period there where, you know, it looked like it was costing us. So for the rest of the game, they were outstanding. So I think Ken was just basically giving him, look, you're really important. And, mm. and you're running that show. So, so get it right. Riley's a little bit different. Riley's a young... You know, a young, a young kid who's still learning his craft and he's played pretty much a full season to this point. His only area that he's really working on from a growth point of view, we love what he does with the ball, but it's it's just his ability in the contest. So Ken yeah. was just questioning him on that. So, mate, if you're going to play at this level, we need you to give us a contest when it's there to, you know, yeah. there to be had. And um, He'll learn from that. He's getting better and better the more games he plays. So, so you know, we're confident he'll be important for us over the next couple of months. Yeah, he's got some weapons. Six-day break from country Victoria. It was a heavy deck and cold. Yeah. How will you manage the team this week before showdown 45? <clears throat> well, similar to, similar to a normal six-day, I mean, you don't, you don't do a lot this week. We, we normally have two sessions and we give the boys, um, you know, a Wednesday off. But we'll have a light run tomorrow. That'll be, that'll be really light, you know, yeah, so 15, 20 minutes for the guys just touching on some craft and working on a few areas. But then Thursday will be our main session. Um, we'll be really mindful, as you said, it was it was quite a heavy deck. The ball, you know, gets heavy in those conditions and uh, it's heavy on the legs. So um, our guys will, will make sure that everyone's freshened up slightly. But you do want to make sure you stay switched on and you're ready, you know, for the contest because we know we'll get that this weekend. Mm. Well, um, Nixie uh, Kelly has sent us the Mile End Office Furniture text asking about the microwave on the bench. He said the the TV commentators seemed fixated with it. They were talking about it all the time. What was it being used for? <laughs> we, we take the microwave every week. It's so it, it, I think because it was so cold, it got a lot more attention this mm. week. But we um, wheat bags go in it, so heat packs. Um, yeah, a lot of players. And Paddy's probably one of the main guys. With his hip, he likes to keep it warm. So if he comes off for uh, you know a, a period on the bench of five to ten minutes, he wants to try and stay warm, and he'll, he'll use heat packs in those areas. Um, that, as I said, that's something we take every week, but it's funny when it's minus you know, one degree or whatever it was. <laughs> also, and then you've got Power Pepper with a beanie on as well on the bench. It, it, it sort of stands out, but yeah, it's quite funny that they were, everyone was all over that. I was just watching the game thinking, run out there with that beanie on, Sam. I reckon that would have been funny. <laughs> I think you're allowed to one. You can wear hats and that if you want. Mm, I'm not so no, sure. Well, they're not part I'm of the uniform. Sure. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, not, no, you can't wear headbands and so on. So I thought you'd get away yeah. with the beanie. Now, now Matty, August 1 is this Wednesday. Uh, coaches need to um, have a fair idea what they're doing moving forward. What's your movements? Where where are you at with all of that? Oh, we're, we're currently talking at the moment, actually, about where we're going to head next year. Um, you know, so as a footy club, we're having a good look at everything and um, we'll make that decision over the, the next few years. Few months, um, but with you know, this is something that's ongoing uh, with the club. So Ken and I have been sort of in in conversation throughout the year. You know what's yeah. best for the group, what's best for for me as well. So we're all about developing, but you know I'd love to stick around. It's just one of those things. We'll, we'll see how it pans out. Yeah, I was going to say, do you feel you need another challenge? Are you ready for another challenge? I, I know we've spoken before, and you know every coach yeah. should have an eye on being a senior coach. Yeah, well, that's a, that's what you, that's what we talk about. I mean, and, and this is the best part about being the group we are. We're very open to to that. Um, you know, I've been with Port now for eight years, six years with Ken. Wow. And, um, the journey, you know, I've really enjoyed the challenge. Um, there's still challenges coming, even in the role I'm in at the moment. You know, you learn every every week. So, um, look, I'd love to at some point head coach. Um, I really enjoy the role I'm in, which is you know, giving whatever I can to help Ken 
make the job easier for him. So um, I'll continue to matter where or, or what job it's in. It's just a matter of you know, what the group needs going forward. Well, Nixie, yeah, we hope you stick yeah, around, done. mate. Uh, we've enjoyed having a chat today and always too. Uh, good luck. Huge week this week in South Australian footy. The showdown's always great fun and we wish you all the best. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.